Hey guys, so today I am gonna be doing another testing out makeup video, but today I have probably one of my most requested makeup brands to test out on my channel. So I'm finally gonna be doing a testing makeup revolution makeup video. I've gone out and got a load of their stuff that I've never tried before, and I am gonna, as always, pop it on my face and try it for the first time. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go! So the first thing that I have to test is the makeup revolution. Obviously, it's all makeup revolution. The first thing I have is the camouflage corrector correcting palette thingy it's gonna be one of those videos isn't it it's gonna be one of those ones where i can't get into anything there we go wow it's so pretty and pastel it's like all of my dreams have come true it's basically a load of pastely colors and each color is supposed to color correct things on your face I don't actually know where each thing is supposed to go i was relying on a potential booklet inside to like tell me where it goes it hasn't got one of those. So I might have to do a little bit of Googling. I really love this pinky colour. It's lovely. <laughs> what a lovely pinky colour. Oh, this picture that I found on the internet. She's put purple kind of like down these bits. It looks like a freaking Wi-Fi button on the top. It's, I'll try and recreate it. It looks like freaking Wi-Fi. So now that my internet connection is all up and running, I... <laughs> I've done a really messy job of that. I'm gonna say the consistency feels really nice. It was really creamy and it like glided on nicely. So that's the first thing I'm noticing. So she's taken the orangey salmon-y kind of color, which I'm assuming is this. Oh, this one's a bit wet. Oh, I've got a sweaty one. Sometimes products like this get sweaty, don't they? And they just kind of go wet. There's a bit of yellow here, a bit of yellow here, and a bit around her mouth. And then the green's just kind of like around the nose. Oh, pink's supposed to go under your eye as well. It's such a nice colour. So I'm just going to put a bit of pink in my inner cornery bits. <laughs> I now look fantastic. So I'm now just going to take my little sponge and try to blend all of these fancy colours out. I'm still purple. <laughs> Okay, so it's slowly disappearing. I'd say it blends out quite easily-ish. I mean, I still have a very purple forehead, but obviously we're gonna put foundation over the top. And yeah, it's, it's a good consistency. They were nice and creamy, like I said, and you know, there's a shade for everything in there. There's even some that I didn't even use. I mean, God knows what they're for, but if I put any more colors on my face, I'd just, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems to have worked quite well. Do I look color corrected now? No, I look very ill. So the one and only product that I didn't manage to get from Makeup Revolution was a foundation. So I'm just going to quickly put my own foundation on and then from that point onwards everything is Makeup Revolution. I promise that it's just the only freaking thing that I couldn't get. How annoying. I was going to mention quickly that last week loads of you were asking why I didn't upload a video on Wednesday. Admittedly I didn't upload on Friday but on Wednesday I did upload but loads of people were like oh why haven't you uploaded? I think it just didn't go into subscription boxes. If you did miss last week's video because it was something that so many of you had requested for me to do so it's such a shame that like so many of you didn't even know I'd uploaded it. I will leave a link below in case you didn't see it and you can go and watch it after this one if you like. I think you've just got to check for yourself and don't rely on subscription boxes because they don't work anymore or you can like press some bell thing I've heard people mention. I look really odd. You can press some bell thing down there some bell thing and then I think you get like notifications or something but just check my channel I should always have something up on a Wednesday and a Friday. Okay so I'm now Ooh, uh, that was a bit weird. <laughs> so I am now foundationed and concealed. So now I'm gonna move on to powder and I'm so excited to try this. I saw this in their powder section and I was like, yep, that's the one I want. They've got a banana powder. Now, if you know me, you'll know that I am partial to a cheeky banana every now and again. And I don't mean that in a dirty way. I mean that in an actual banana fruit way. Does it smell like banana? No, it doesn't, okay. Letdown number one has occurred. It is a loose powder, which always results in an absolute... Im oh, it already has. Where's the opening? Where's your flap? <gasps> I was not expecting that. Oh my jeans. <laughs> oh my jeans. So this is what it's like inside and all over me. So I've just put a little bit in the pot and I'm going to take my big fat brush. Most of it is... Yep, goodbye. Didn't want you anyway. It's gonna make me a funny colour. The first thing I'm noticing is my face has gone mildly orange. <laughs> mildly orange, a mild shade of orange. <laughs> Maybe it's not for us pale peeps. I'd say it's definitely like mattified my skin quite a lot. What was he even supposed to do? Is that what it was supposed to do? It's supposed to be luxury. I mean, 
I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. The test is, does it make my skin... No, not my skin. My skin's always going to be there. Does it make my makeup last longer? So yeah, that is... Oh, did you hear that? That's crunchy. What is this colour? Oh, bull flap. I've done it again. I've powdered, but I still had a cream product to use. For goodness sake. This is the Makeup Revolution Ultra Contour Stick and this one is in the shade Fair, which I believe is the lightest one. Ah! I'm a bit confused as well because you've got your contour colour. Ooh, that is so sleek and just like, it just looks like the perfect, like, I want to bite it. Like, yeah, it looks like a concealer on the other side. Ooh, sticky. I'm going to dab it. If in doubt, dab it. So that's a bit of the brown and then I guess you put a bit of the pale to make it paler. Duh. I'm gonna try blending it in with a brush or maybe, maybe my old friend might be better. Me old friend. It's a good shade, but consistency wise, I'm not sure. And it keeps popping back down every time I, look. <laughs> oh, and he's gone. And it blends out actually quite easily considering I've done it over powder, which is a big no-no normally. So it's definitely not the best contour product I've ever used. I don't know if it's really done that much. I'm so excited for this one. I also picked up their Ultra Professional Blush Palette and this is the Golden Sugar. And then inside, hopefully we've got the blush. Hello, see ya. <laughs> someone just came sliding out he didn't want to be there wow oh wow it is so pretty yeah i think on the website it said that there's four blushes two bronzers and two highlights so i'm thinking maybe these are the bronzy ones that would make sense wouldn't it because they're bronze these are the blushes and these are the highlights i could be completely wrong i think i'm going to take the bronzy colors i'm just going to go a bit on the matte one and a bit on the shimmery one i might just do a bit of like all over bronzing Ooh, this is working well they're pigmented that shimmery one is so pretty like so good for like summer like a really golden -y look i feel like you could put this on like up here as well and it would just look so pretty in summer with a tan i'm like spoiled for choice here seriously i think i'm gonna go with this one i love how the blushes are like what do they call them when they're like this is it like a baked blush i think i'm gonna go with a bit of this one here oh oh goodness i've stabbed it i've stabbed it already i'm a murderer I like it, <laughs> if you didn't realise. I quite like this one as well. I'm liking this so far. I'm now just gonna try a little bit of the like whitey gold one because I can't not try that. I mean, look at it. I have got another highlighter to try, like a single highlighter, but I'm gonna try this one first and then I'll put the other one on on top. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. I just wasn't expecting it to come out that much. That is really good. Really good. That's probably the most pigmented highlighter I've ever used. Like, I literally tapped it on the tiniest bit. I'm just going to put the highlight on this side because I want to try the other one, sort of give it a fair chance and try it on this side. That is it from this palette for now. I'm really excited to try all the other colours. Yeah. I like it. So the other highlight that I got was the Skin Kiss Ice Highlighter. Loads of you have been asking me to test these in a video, so I decided to get one. I got the one... Have I said what, what I did? What did I, what, what? I think the shade is Ice Kiss. Get that. Ooh, <laughs> that packaging. <laughs> it's like a rose goldy, coppery kind of packaging. And it is big. Wow. So this is what it looks like inside. Ooh. Okay, so I would say it's not as pigmented as the one from the palette. Like, it didn't show up as quickly. It is really pretty. Like, it is such a pretty colour. Look at it. And you get so much for your money. Like, that is a lot. That will last you a long time. So that is so good. I'm just going to put a bit on the end of my nose. Both highlights are beautiful. And I've always heard so many good things about Makeup Revolution highlights. But this was genuinely... Bleh. I'm lost for words. Genuinely the first time I've ever used one and I can't wait to try some more. They're so pretty. Next thing I'm going to move on to is my eyebrows because my, my face is all done now, isn't it? For eyebrows, I've got the Ultra Brow Arch and Shape pencil pen thing. This reminded me a lot of my Soap and Glory Archery one that I'm obsessed with. That one has nearly run out, so I thought... Do you mind? I mean, I don't know what the shade's going to be like. This is the shade Fair. He's got a nice little point to him, actually, so that'll be quite easy to get a good defined eyebrow shape. It's really creamy actually and it's a really good colour match like that is perfect for my eyebrows so I'm just gonna do the other one to match and then I'll be back in a minute so I'm just gonna now take the felt tip and just fill in any gaps because I think that's what it's there for <laughs> I think so fantastic yes good job jolly good job yay I was just praising you. Okay, so for eyeshadow, I've got two different palettes because one of them I actually ordered and the other one came free. This is the Makeup Revolution 
hashtag Reverholic Eyes. But I also bought this one because I really wanted to give it a go. It is the Makeup Revolution Flawless Ultra Eyeshadows. Mm. Wow, that is a challenge and a half. This is potentially the hardest palette I've ever tried to open. You're having a laugh, aren't you? Oh, come off of it. We're in. So these are the shades in the, is this the flawless one? Yeah, the flawless palette. These are the shades inside. So you've got quite a selection. There's quite a lot in there. And there's a mixture of shimmery ones and matte ones. These ones here, I don't know how well you guys can see. They're like proper. And then the free one also has a selection of mattes and shimmery ones. I'm gonna start with this palette and I'm just gonna take the like palest matte one at the top, which is called Paper. And I'm just gonna put that all over my eyelids as like a base. Okay, so I didn't really do anything. Good start. I think I'm just gonna be really brave and go in with this palette and take this burnt orangey color. Okay, so it's very orange, but I mean, what did I expect? It's orange. It shows up really well and it, they seem to blend really nicely. That's my first impression. Oh, this one's called Burgundy Nights and I really like this one. So I'm gonna take a bit of that. I'm now just gonna take a bit of Red Night, which is a similar kind of color, but it's a little bit, a little bit more purpley toned, I'd say, or a little bit more red toned. I'm not sure, it's just slightly paler. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this one. Wow, I look like I've been punched as per usual. <laughs> I'm now just gonna take whatever's left from the brush and just kind of like run it under my underneath bit. So I look even more like I've been punched. It's so different for me to have this sort of color on my eyes, but I really quite like it. I think I'm just gonna go with this kind of pale peachy pink color toned one, but it's almost like a friggin' highlighter. This bit here, wow. Okay, so I don't really know if that goes with the look that I've done, but I just sort of wanted to try one of the shimmery ones and they look really nice. Like even on top of that, it's shown up quite well. Okay, so that is my eyeshadow. It's definitely not the neatest thing in the world and I probably need to like blend it way more. But for my first time trying like those sorts of shades, I think it went okay actually. I really like it. I really like these colors. I'm very impressed. This is probably my new favorite eyeshadow palette. I'm just gonna take the Skin Kiss highlighter again, but put a little bit of that in my inner corner just to make it a little bit more highlighty. Okay, that's probably a little bit too much. <laughs> and I'm also just gonna put a bit of it under my eyebrow, just to highlight my brow bone. So the next product I have to try is a mascara. This is the Amazing Volume Mascara. Don't know how it's gonna do. It's quite a fat wand. In fact, that is actually a really fat wand for me. That is the biggest one I've tried in a long time. So <laughs> I'm gonna try not make a mess. I've got it on my eyelid already. <laughs> It was inevitable, like, honestly, how can I not get it on my eyelid when it's, like, half the size of my face? <laughs> it was almost game over. I'm definitely not a fan of this one. I, I can't even get my eyelashes to look bigger because I'm having to be so careful with it. I can't, like, proper get in there. I definitely am not a fan of this one. I mean, if you guys like a fat wand, you might like it, but for me, it's so tricky to use. And last but not least, I've got to do my lips. So I've got two different products to test. The first one is this Makeup Revolution Retro Luxe Matte Lip Contour Kit Lip Pencil and Liquid Lipstick. One of those. This is in the shade Grandi, Grandi, whatever it is. I went to use this because I thought it was going to be like a dark nudie colour. Got it out of the box and it wasn't that colour at all. <laughs> It is actually like a pinky colour, but because I know that I'm not a fan of pink lip colours, I have got another one to test as well. They do have other colours, I, I wish I'd got it in like a better colour, but it's a little bit deceiving, like. So of course I'm just going to try the lip liner first and then I'll put the liquid lipstick on the top. Formula wise it doesn't seem too bad, but that colour, it is like proper pink. Ugh. It's a little bit streaky, like it's not coming out all that great. It's not horrendous, like it's not a bright, bright pink. It's just, it's just pink. And even though I love pink, I don't love it on my lips. So it would just be better if they put the right colors on the boxes so it didn't confuse people. But formula wise, it's not that bad. Like I've definitely tried worse. Okay, that ain't coming off anytime soon. So if you do get one of these, it's probably gonna last all day or maybe even all week or maybe all year because <laughs> I can't actually get that off easily. You've got a proper scrape at it. And the next product that I'm gonna try is one of their, oh, it just says lipstick in the shade Vow. So this is like a nudie color, which is definitely more up my street. That is more my kind of shade. It's like a nudie brown kind of color. I'm gonna put it on, cause that would help, wouldn't it? Hmm, I really like it. It applied really nicely. That's a really nice formula. It was, 
creamy but not too creamy that it was like sliding all over the place it's sort of like you can feel that it's like stuck on like that doesn't feel like it's gonna budge anytime soon yeah i like it if you do want to get a makeup revolution lip product i would recommend the lipsticks over these and i think that is everything that i have to test out i now have a face covered in makeup revolution and i'm quite happy with it i actually think i liked everything apart from the mascara so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you found it useful because i know so many of you have been asking me to do makeup revolution because you want to know if any of it's any good give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and comment down below what makeup brand you would like me to test out next i know a lot of people have been asking for mua and nyx makeup so if you would like to see either of those let me know and they will be coming soon but for now that is the end i hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you very soon Bye.